Hello, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any of these fun videos. Today we're doing a hardware pedicure, so therefore there's no need to soak the feet. I've just added an antiseptic on them. We will be taking off the length on these toenails with our nail drill, but I do want to go over them here quickly with my clippers. Now these toenails still have a clear gel finish on them, so with my nail bit, I'm just going to carefully take that off. Often I have clients who damage their big toes. This could simply be from shoes that are too tight, therefore the nail here shouldn't go past the toes tip. The lateral folds on the big toe are quite deep, so I'm cleaning them out with a curette. When using a curette, you want to be really careful. Of course, you don't want to uh, push it in too deep. And then here, I'm just lifting that nail uh, gently away from the skin as much as possible. The other toes, I'm just filing down with my nail file and rounding down the corners. I'm removing some of the dry cuticle with a soft cone bit. However, this bit is going to be a little too big for the smaller toes. I found this perfect little corundum cone. It also has a little abrasion and you'll be able to see how it not only does a great job around the cuticles but also wonderfully polishes up the surface of the nail without scratching it at all. Now with a nail bit that's harsher and pointier, I'm working around the deep lateral folds. Uh, with this kind of depth, we're not able to change the direction of the nail drill, so I'm going over all of the toes using the nail drill in one direction, and then later I'll be going over them again in the opposite direction.
The cuticle itself, I'm cleaning up with a round bit. Uh, this also has the blue marking. Usually the cuticle on big toes is quite sensitive, so we shouldn't go under the cuticle. This would cause an infection and inflammation. After cleaning everything up, we're dehydrating our nails. Meanwhile, we're headed to the heels. They look pretty good, no serious dry skin, However, more toward the toes, a bit down the side, and just a tad in the center, there are some dry spots and calluses. I'm using a harsh abrasion bit that's 18 grit. And once that's attached, I'm turning it on to 20,000 RPMs. That's if your nail drill's power is near 25 watts. With this kind of harsh abrasion, you don't want to stay in one area for too long. It works great um, on its own, so there's no need to press hard. You should do all of this quickly, not staying in one area too long, otherwise you'll burn the skin. The minus about working with this nail drill is the heavy handle, and it doesn't have a dust collector. So I needed to put a portable dust collector machine under my client's foot, but in any case, the dust still somewhat went into the air. If you uh, happen to be doing this pedicure at home, I definitely wouldn't recommend using a nail file on the feet themselves. It's quite a messy job. After working on all the problematic areas, we're changing the abrasion and switching to 120 grit. Now I'm just going over the corners and cleaning up the area gently. After having used that harsh abrasion, we need to go over the skin again and gradually smooth it all out and remove any flags that have appeared.
Further, we're cleaning up the feet from any dust. The yellow spots are still there, but for them, I've got a fantastic brightening product. However, overall, the skin is super nice and smooth. They look amazing. You can put a bit of lotion on them and then we'll go back to the toes. I'm dehydrating the nails just one more time and putting on the backing for the Acrogel. This is the best product for cases such as ours. I'm going to build that corner here, have it dry underneath the lamp, file them down, and then apply our base. I'm just evenly spreading out the gel now to eliminate any of the nails unevenness. And then we'll be painting our toenails today in a beautiful deep eggplant. To finish off this stunning pedicure, I've decided to add some small jewels on the big toe right around the bottom. They add just the right amount of sparkle to this beautiful color. They look fantastic now. I'm so happy with how they turned out. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a huge thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.